We are here with Fernando Gonzalez Gomez. He is the co-director of the new film, The Passenger. That one's coming out June 3rd in theaters and on demand June 28th of this year. Fernando, how are you? Fine, thank you very much. It's really good to have you, sir. And um, the movie's a lot of fun, uh, but uh, can we, can you tell us about The Passenger? What can I tell, what can I tell? It's a shutting ban. Uh, go into a small village at the north of Spain, crossing some forest, and they hit uh, someone in the road at night walking. We don't know why, walking at night by the road. But and they decided to, to move to the nearest uh, hospital. But they make their wrong decision. They said, what can I say? There is something inside that <laughs> you, will you will discover, you will discover. So plenty of twists and turns and uh, craziness and uh stuff like that ensues um so uh can can you tell me how the response to the film has been well we're very, very happy very happy we started in spain uh in Sitges film festival was was the global like the world premiere there uh -huh. and then we made like a good circuit around spain following the most important genre uh, focus uh, film festivals and then uh, our friends of Level K, that is the sales agent, uh, they are starting to share to the world and was the, the really good news of the agreement with Dark Star and Bloody Disgusting for the States. And we are very happy of the, 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 the opinions or the feelings that we are, that they're coming to Spain from the States. I mm -hmm. mean, was uh, uh, screened in Seattle, also in Kentucky, I think, in the Panic Fest, and mm -hmm. also now in uh, Austin. Uh, and, and we are very happy because when you enter in the letterbox and you see the audience from the stage saying, oh, it's a great movie, blah, 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 we're, it's, it's, it's crazy for us because it's a very small movie and Raul and I, we are more than happy that the audience can enjoy this, this, this movie that uh, we, we made it with a lot of love and effort. Well, I'm congratulations on that. Now, oh, this was your first kind of feature. Uh, so, how was that different from what you've done before, and what did you learn working on a a larger project? Well, it's it's my second, uh, it? but it's my first feature with Raúl. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I, I, okay. I, I, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's something you know. Some. Some. You can tell me a small misunderstanding, but well, it was a really a really good experience. Uh, doing the, the co-direction with, with Raul. As I said, uh, I, we always said was a jump into a pool with no water because we never made nothing together. We know each other because of the world of the uh, short film because we are names well known in this small world in Spain mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and we know each other. But uh, uh, well, uh, Raul proposed me the, the idea to, to co-direct if I enjoy the, the script. I enjoy a lot the script, and and then finally we we made it uh, together, and mm. uh, and that's it. That uh, I mean, like the mainly uh, uh, problem was how 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 we are going to do how we are going to do on set what what we are to do. You I stay at the combo and you go with the actors or what we are going to do. And finally we decided that uh, it's better do it everything together, mm -hmm. and it that we do do it everything together, and and we are a crazy. Uh, focus in the planning. We, we love to plan the camera position at home, months uh, early than the, than, the, than the shooting, months months uh, before. And, and we made all this plan together. And when we go on set, we only need to explain what we already designed. That was a good experience. Right, because you, you, don't, you don't save that work for the set. Um, <laughs> You just get it done. Um, yeah, so so it, you, the two of you worked pretty well together. You guys both were in tune with planning ahead, very detail oriented. Uh, were there any uh, other things that maybe that, that you did the heavy lifting on uh, that he didn't or? Well, I mean, uh, normally the, 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 the mass was that we need to love every choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I have like an idea uh, or, uh, or my, by my own, and I said to, to Raul, I can be in love with the idea, but if Raul is not in love also, we are not going to apply to the movie. 
Mm -hmm. uh, then was the like like the must uh, be in love with the ideas that we have and and then put on the on the movie. And if not, it's not going to be at the movie. Finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I was really loving the look of the film, uh, and the the, uh, the 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 score used for it. It was just everything was. Finally, yeah. someone is is talking about the score. <laughs> no, because I, I I I I've been doing some interviews today with people, sure. and I'm I'm waiting that someone asks for the score, because it's a traditional bullfighting music. Right, right, and, then, and then I found I, it to I'm, be so funny. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Then I, I see. I don't know how how the people that is is not in the bullfighting culture, or something like this. I, I mean, I, we are not in the bullfighting culture, but it's in the Spanish culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and I, I said, how the people feel the music because they don't have like the he, they don't know the history of the music, no, related to the bullfightings and the small orchestras in the small parties at the countryside in the small village. Mm -hmm. And we have this here, no? Then we, we have this feeling. Then I said, how is it going to work with the people that don't have these feelings of the music? Well, yeah, it feels very uh, ceremonial. Yeah, very, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank very you. like, you know, there's no stopping what's about to happen type of a situation, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was, that, was that what you were going for using that music? Was in the script was in the script, was uh, noted. Uh, not oh. every Paso Doble, the name of this kind of music is Paso Dobles. Paso Dobles. Uh, we have seven Paso Dobles during the, the movie. Uh -huh. uh, even we have the original score composed by uh, Alejandro Roman also. Uh -huh. That is more like 80s genre uh, carpenter music. Right, but right. Uh, like a contrapoint, uh, we have the, the this music. Uh, was I think that was noted like four or five in the script, but we discovered because the Paso Dobles is like uh, the definition that how to, is, is the music that define Blasco, the main character. Right, you know? right. But we discover that this music also works a lot in the general sequences or the tension ones or when something needs to happen and then the mix of the alien attaching the, 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 the guys in the band with this music was crazy mix, was, it works uh, a lot. And then we decided to uh, upgrade a little bit the, the, the Paso Dobles that we use during mm -hmm. the, the movie. And we use more than was uh, noted in the script. We awesome. discovered that the editing, editing, editing with Sergio and Raul, and we was there working and we said, it works, it works. We are going to use more than was designed in, in the first version. Well, that's wonderful. And how did the writer, uh, how did the screenwriter like that choice? I mean, was he like, oh, well, yeah. what's a choice? What's a choice from Raul, the co-director? Uh, uh, in the first version of the script, uh, he listened like old pop music, uh, rock pop music from the 80s Spain. But Paco Plaza used this kind of music in Veronica. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I remember that. Uh, uh, El Sur is a really nice uh, uh, Spanish uh, movie and, and it has a sequence with some Vaso Dobles. And then Raul was listening to this and he said, and if Blasco listened this music and not pop 80s uh, rock, and then they change and it works and finally Perfect. we decided to go for it. Perfect, I love that that works. Um, that, were there any uh, influences on the... Uh... Well, there, were there any films that influenced your work on this one, the tone you took? And if so, which were they? I think every movie you watch is going to influence your work uh -huh. anytime. I mean, we have no, uh, we, we didn't see, say, okay, let's go to see these 10 movies and we are going to follow their choices and then we are going to copy. No, we, we, uh, I mean, it's clearly the influence from the movies, uh, the first movies of Carpenter, like The Thing, like The Prince of Darkness. That I mean, it's obviously because uh, we, we we like a lot this this kind of movies. Uh, for sure, uh, Raúl, that is a crazy freaky of Carpenter. <laughs> and then and then and then we said, okay, it's then we said, okay, okay, we we, we need to follow uh, some choices he made. 
mm. or, or, or another one's made. But uh, it's more like uh, we are influenced for all the movies that we, we are really uh, already, already watched. It's like uh, uh, we, um, we are uh, people that we like to see a lot of kind of genre movies, but uh, everything. I mean, as I said, we uh, like to watch like Asghar Farhadi movie, but even we can do, we can see Hereditary or It Follows or whatever, and then we enjoy uh, mm -hmm. a same. But we decided to go for the genre world because it's where you can uh, tell everything. Everything can happen in, in a genre movie, you know? This is why we feel comfortable telling this story. And uh, influences are obviously, but uh, I mean, the use of the split diopter of uh, Brian De Palma, uh -huh. or some sequences when she's trying to get the phone and behind is moving something slow, yeah, yeah. carpenter. You can see <laughs> a, a lot of choices that we use influenced by their movies, but we want to have our own voice. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, 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 it's that we try to do. Uh -huh. um, now, why, why, do you, why do you think horror and comedy work so well together? Oh, good question. Uh, probably because are like uh, so separately, I mean, feelings in the human being, like horror and comedy are completely, <laughs> and it's like the opposed uh, poles are attractive, no? So this like, mm -hmm. is like, like in physics, I don't know, but it works, it works. Uh, Edward Wright knows very well uh, mm -hmm. how it works, it's like Shaun of the Dead, no? Or another choices of, from him, but we are, we was a little bit scared about the mix because, I mean, because uh, if, if you don't have the, the starting sequence, mm. you being in a daily comedy inside the band of people that are traveling, you know, <laughs> then until the 25 or something like that, like uh, I think it's 25 minutes of walking and driving and making some jokes, no? And then we was a little bit scared because in a part of the, of the movie, you need to, be scary and feeling the same as the characters, then you cannot position the audience in a very comedy mm, uh, movie, no? It's like you need to be in a place that, okay, it's comedy, but I can take seriously what is happening. I can take seriously yeah, yeah. what is happening to him. What are their feelings? What are her feelings of, of, of Marta? In order to position the, the, um, the, the audience in a, in a place that they are going to suffer when the monster came, not mm -hmm. to enjoy that the monster is uh, killing the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, right. That's it. That's so it. you got to kind of be in in the same mindset of peril and uh, you know go with it. And yeah. Uh, and then uh, so okay. So what do you have coming next? Well, we have uh, now. We're already like yesterday uh, was uh, new uh, new in the Spin Daily that uh, our new feature film is called The Elderly. It's also genre movie and is directed by Raúl and I. Also, same team of the Passenger, and it's now presented in Cannes in the Marché du Film uh, by the hand of Filmax that acquires the the international rights. And we are now shelling <laughs> the movie. <laughs> well, excellent. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, um, it's, it's, totally, it's totally different. I mean, uh, if, if The Passenger is a Blumhouse movie, uh, The Elderly is A24. Gotcha, gotcha. Is that I can say. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Well, listen, um, it, was, it was, Fernando, it was great talking to you and congratulations on the success from this one so far. Uh, and uh, everybody, you guys need to see The Passenger. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it comes to theaters June 3rd here in the US and uh, on demand June 28th. And, oh, and DVD. So Fernando, yeah. best of luck on this one and uh, the elderly as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. All right, take care, sir.